Yeah. But um, just really quick, because I just – we won't spend too much time on this. The Good Place is amazing. Go and watch it if you haven't watched yes. it. Like it, most of you, you won't be disappointed. Go and watch it. But <clears throat> you last time we talked about The Good Place, you said it is the greatest sitcom of all time. It was your favorite sitcom of all time. And I just want to know, uh, do you still feel that way? And if so, why or why uh, not? Uh, did I say that? I know, no, I, I think I said it was the best. For the first time, you, we, we use hyperbole, right? But yeah, I'm, I think. Well, I think I said. Know. I think I said it was the best finale of all time. Mm. But, okay. I think I might. I might have said that. I no, I think you like, said you were saying like I'm considering it being yeah. my favorite sitcom of all time. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 which and I still, oh, yeah, I still, still hold to that. That show, it was such a, such a nice show. I really, I like that creator. That creator, Michael Schur, is his name. Mm. Created, uh, he was behind The Office, uh, Parks and Rec, uh, 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 Brooklyn Nine Nine, and I love all of those shows. And that, and that was a good place, exactly. So anything that guy does, I'm in. So. Uh, so yeah, so it's and it's just a nice show with you know, some with nice people. I like all the, I like the, the thematic stuff about you know just obviously what it means to be a good person. Um, obviously the stuff about you know the afterlife and what what does it what happens to you when we're gone and just being a just putting out good energy in the world, man, and, and being a, and into the universe. And I love what happened at the end with the character. Of, it it makes you feel like good as a human being watching right. this show like right, and exactly. it gives you optimism about humanity which exactly. is not easy exactly. to come about these days especially these days exactly exactly right exactly right you know and it makes you want to be a good person like oh, or at least for me watch it like i just i don't know i just i, I it just like i said it just gave you hope it's really hopeful uh bittersweet ending obviously it was sad and to it's see. so creative it yes. like the way they handle everything it's so, cr dude. Maya Rudolph is hilarious. She's so dude. funny. Exactly. Yeah, she yeah. was so funny on here. Yeah, everybody. Ted Danson's so great on the dude, show. And GD I mean, is the, one of the best Gidi, characters. Yeah. Ever. Uh, Jamila, uh, what's her name? Uh, the place Tahani. She's gonna be on uh, She Hulk. I want to rewatch it, man. And what's? Oh my goodness, what's the the robot's name? The and like she's like the Janet. <laughs> Janet is incredible. Yeah. And what's the guy? Who she has a relationship with? Uh, 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 Jason. <laughs> All right, so dude, Jason yes. is so dude. funny. I love Jason because all right, Lots of funniest Jaguars. thing ever. So the Jaguars and like everything he does, <laughs> if you like, like he yeah. just does something cool. He's like, uh, Bortles. Like yes, like anything he does, he's like Bortles. Like Bortles. But then when he, uh, minor spoiler, but when he's in the real good place and like he's he's they're doing like his funeral in the good place to move on to like yeah. to finally be like actually like not existing dead yeah he his buddy's on the stage and he's like you'll always be my gardener Minshew. so like there's <laughs> there's such like diehard jacksonville yeah. jaguar fans that like yes. they were all on the hype on Bortles, but then as time went on in real time and on the show it switched to Gardner Minshew, who yes. like they were so. And yes. hey, if if now if those characters existed now, Trevor Lawrence, come on now. So, well, so uh, Blake Bortles, I believe he's a backup in Tampa, right? Did he win a Super no, Bowl? No, he's a backup in. All right, so the Packers signed him as like a uh, like to come in and like do mini camp with the players and stuff. Was he not on the Buccaneers last year? I, I think he was on the Rams. On uh, the Rams? Okay. Yeah, but now he's in Green Bay. Wasn't he a backup somewhere on somebody that just won a Super Bowl? I, I thought sure. he was. I gotta, I, mean, I gotta look it up. Because I thought I remember, because people were tagging. I remember seeing on Twitter, like, a bunch of memes and stuff, people tagging, and people tagging him about Blake Bortles, and I, I might be wrong. I, just, I thought I... So he I was on the Rams in 2019. Okay. Um... He might have been on the Bucks. I'm not sure. Oh, he was in Tampa. I, yeah, I might be. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking of mis misremembering something. I don't know. But uh, well, he was on the Broncos, Packers, Rams. Oh, I know that. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, okay. I, I think that was it. Yeah, but All maybe right, like uh, anyway. Okay. Either way, he he was on like a backup for a good team. So yeah, maybe yeah that's yeah. what. Okay. Damn, I see, I see, that's where I saw that. But well, whatever it was. But yeah, no, that's yeah, yeah. It's just a Gardner Minshew. Yeah, you're right. And so yeah, I was really. I, but I love that. Like that. I always brought that up to you. Like it was, yeah. it was just so <laughs> funny to me. But yeah, he's great. Um, he was, he's really good. Okay, so real, let's wrap up real quick. Um, so you, like, I w- I just wanted to know that, like, so where does it stand for you now? Because I I love it too. Uh, let me just get this on here. So uh, I've seen some of. I remember Becker. I've seen uh, a little bit of episode of Becker. It's a pretty good show. I never I never got into it. I know Becker's big like overseas, apparently, like in Australia and stuff like that. <laughs> that started with him, so, uh, yeah, I never actually watched all of it but i've seen it before it's pretty good it's got a cool theme song but um no i i've been re-watching the office i kind of think i go back and forth between those two um um did you finish parks and rec no see okay see that's i'm gonna i need to pick that up i need to go ahead because i know it. i know you like it um and yeah. i was telling you to watch parks and rec to yeah. me yeah, and yeah. i like i was late on the office uh i watched parks and rec before i watched the office but I, to me, and before I watched The Office or Parks and Rec, How I Met Your Mother was my favorite sitcom of all time. And I, yeah, I know yeah. you and I, I, I still love How I Met Your Mother. It is a little dated. It definitely, it definitely. is. Yeah. Um, but I, I still love that show. I don't care what anybody says. Like I'll, sure. I will argue with anyone that that show's good to great. But to me, my favorite is Parks and Rec. Like Parks and Rec is my favorite sitcom of all time. I think with How I Met Your Mother, I think they just weren't expecting it to go as long as it did and to be as popular as it was. Mm-hmm. So you can kind of tell there's a certain point where they kind of like they stopped being so misogynistic. <laughs> well, no, I, I no, I, I just think as far as the direction of the show, I just I don't know if they really knew where they were going to try to go. Oh, with it. I know what you mean, though. Yeah, it kind of yeah. like for sure like slows down. Yeah, I think they went on like like. And that's the exact mistake that shows like a good place. It's the exact thing that Michael Schur, I read an article about it, that he said he didn't want that to happen. Like the, the good place was never meant to go any longer than, than it did. Like he always had a beginning, middle, and end for that show. No, I like and, that. And that's like what they did with Breaking Bad too. The right. Yeah, exactly. Like, exactly. Yeah. exactly. And that's it. And, and we're going to talk Better Call Saul, but we don't have much time. But all I'm going to say is Better Call Saul is freaking great. I love it. Yes. See, I started the second episode, and I need to finish that. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so right. we got to we gotta uh, catch up on Better Call Saul. And, right. I mean, I'm probably, I'll am probably i probably finish it before next episode, before next month. Okay. Um, well, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll talk about it. Because I, okay. we both love Breaking Bad, and I right. I really like Better Call Saul so far. I'm in, like, the my, middle of season two. My daughter, Charlize, actually just watched all of Breaking Bad. <laughs> nice. So, yeah. So I'm hey, isn't it our- cool that some of your kids are getting old enough to like watch enough to, and you can yeah. talk to them about it? Yeah, yeah. My son Kevin, hey, so maybe Kevin wants to watch it. If so. she catches up well on uh, Better Call Saul, you guys can watch it together. Yeah, 100%. That's all. Yeah, we're going to yeah, probably start watching it. So, yeah, it's like its own little like TV universe. Right. <laughs> um, right. But, anyways, we were talking about the good place real quick. So, so it's somewhere in the top five for you, basically? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, easily. Uh, yeah, easily. I just, yeah. it, it's just such a just. I just, I'm telling you, the finale is really what 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 got me. It's, I think it's the best finale of a show I've ever watched. Awesome, and I I love it. It's a great finale. I I will not will not argue that. 